Hi, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be covering Dimensions Math from Singapore Math. This is the kindergarten level math program that they offer. This is not specifically made for homeschool. However, it is very easy to modify and use for a homeschool program. For the program, you have two sets. You have two teacher's manuals, KA and KB. This is used during the first part of the year. This is used during the second part of the year. Both A and B come with a textbook to purchase and a workbook to purchase. I had this for KA also. However, I ended up like splitting them out and tearing all the pages out. And so I don't have those together anymore. Um, I chose not to do that for KB because it ended up not being as easy to use. But I wanted to do a flip through here. I didn't see very many videos for KA and I really do like this program even though it's not specifically homeschool. It's so, so easy to use. Chapter one and two start out for matching and sorting and numbers to five. Then we go to numbers to 10, shapes and solids, comparing height, length, weight, comparing numbers within 10, and then you have resources, which are the Black Line Masters for KA. You can find all of the Black Line Masters on the Singapore website. This just shows a little bit of how they approach math, what they use specifically for teaching it. You have your textbooks, your workbooks, your teacher's guide, and then you can also get a test booklet, which I did not purchase. And then these are the little characters that you will see throughout the workbook for the students. Um, there's online resources, which are including the Black Line Masters. Then we just have the user's guide here. And this breaks down into this program for dimensions goes from KA, or excuse me, pre-KA, which would be pre-kindergarten, all the way to, um, looks like currently 3B. So um, again, A and B for each time. And it has this in every single book so you can see what you might be expecting as you go through of what you're going to do for each lesson in each chapter you'll see we have seven lessons for chapter one and it kind of has a little introduction that we see and then it starts out with the materials that you'll need any storybooks and suggestions chapter opener this is what you will see in the student's textbook. And so you can see what they are seeing. You don't have to be sitting right next to them to be able to see the pages that they're referring to. You'll always have an explore section, a learn section, activities, and then extending. There is also, after this, you can do the coordinating textbook, or excuse me, workbook pages and those will be found at the very end of the chapter, right here. And this is all of the pages and the answers for the workbook section. This is the textbook. So there's quite a few activities that are listed. However, we would just choose one that we liked, that I felt that she would get the most enjoyment out of, the most engagement. We wouldn't always do every single one. Sometimes we would, but you can kind of choose which one that you think is the best for your child rather than have to do every single one. And this is where I'm saying modify for you, but it's so simple. Lesson two, same layout, explore, learn, activities, extend. And so they're color coded. So the reds will be lesson one. Then you can go to the two. This is where we're numbers to five. Right here, it's showing the black line. Um, pages that you may need. And so it tells you right here, my book of numbers, BLM pages one through five and where you could find these. Initially, I printed off the entire set. This is for um, KB. I really didn't need the whole thing. I did KA and KB. Next time I will just print off as I go because there were many that we used manipulatives differently. Um, there was alligator cars, 10 frames. We have a 10 frame set, so we use the actual magnetic 10 frame that we have. There's blank graphs. 
And so um, there were some like um, math cover-ups that we did use sometimes. And so all of these were just the black line masters that we didn't need all the time. And going forward, I will only print as I go. As far as manipulatives go, it doesn't come with any specifically, except for maybe if you printed the black line masters, you could use some like that. I have different linking cubes, little counting and sorting. We have our own 10 frames. And so there were many things that we used for manipulatives, but there aren't any specifically for this. And so as we just keep going, it's the same thing over and over. You have your explore, your learn, then the answers at the end of the chapter for all of your workbooks. Going into KB, teacher's guide again, and this is where I'll take a little look into the workbook and textbook so you can see there. Again, it opens up just like the last time for KB. We're going to carry on to numbers to 20. We're going to be working on number bonds, addition, subtraction, addition and subtraction, working on numbers to 100, time, and money. The time only works on the hours, and the money, we only are working with the coins. Breaks out the program again, the activities, the extending. It shows you all the scope and sequence from preschool to third grade. And then you jump into what you can expect from this first chapter. There's 11 lessons in this. You'll see here we have nine lessons and then two lessons of practice. Practice one and practice two is they're just going over the concepts that we learned. If you know it was a really easy chapter and you really don't need that much practice, you could even skip these lessons and go through a little bit quicker. Other times you may have to slow down and use those practice days more than once. Um, it's fully color. You see full color of the workbooks and it's just a really, really good program. I love the way that it teaches. I love the way that it's laid out. Um, I even like the way that even though it's not for the homeschool, it is just very clear what to do. Tell your student this. Here's examples that you could use. I really, really did like this program. We will definitely be using this for first grade. Looking here at the workbook and the textbook. So the textbook is where they will open up and use the pages along with you. So here's number bonds. We see the chapter opener page, which you would talk about. You would have usually one page of practice here. Here's lesson two, talk about it. One page of practice again. So there's not a whole lot of practice inside the textbook for every single lesson. So that's where I see where the workbook is beneficial not necessary, but very beneficial to add in those extra pages. So here we have um, chapter eight, lesson four. We have exercise four, um, uses practice. And so again, very colorful, spells it out very clearly. Just really, really, really good. Um, there were a few things in the very, very back where you could cut out and use, and so, but most of the time you didn't have any additional, but we did have a little bit of, well, that's actually pasted together. Um, we did have a little bit of cut and paste right here. You can see where we cut out the pennies and the nickels and pasted them into the sheet. So... This is really, really good program. I highly recommend it. Um, I will be using it again for first grade. So if you're interested to see maybe a walkthrough of the first grade workbook, let me know down in the comments and I'll get that added for you.